Yeah, you know, I, I like the young Knicks guys. Quentin Grimes looked great. Emmanuel quickly looked great. RJ always looks great. So talk about that a little bit. I don't know much about yeah. the trading card industry. Sure. I had Pokemon cards when I was oh. a kid. Hopefully you kept them. I don't know where they are. It's on like the type Wait of pellet second. that was on the inside. Yeah. I have it's the purple one, right? It's With the, purple the little one. like rose. Yeah, you have one of two versions. Okay. I, I, yeah. <laughs> so, so I need to figure out if it's worth ten thousand. Big time for like nineteen ninety nine Pokemon cards, which is first. I edition. had Charizard. I remember that was a big one. I know that there's levels to Charizard also. Uh, first edition Shadowless base set, second generation. Okay. So okay, so fill me in on the sports side. So on the sports side, you know, Caldwell Pope for the same reason. Um, but you know, those cards went from being worth one dollar to being worth five thousand each. Uh, that's a pretty, you know, significant yeah. going on just in obviously the the forward facing things like the the broadcast side do all of this. Well, you know, it's funny because it's like ninety percent of my time on a day to day basis is researching and making content about collectibles and working out. It's pretty much all I do on a day to day basis. And the other stuff is just like, oh, I have to sacrifice two days of not. Doing collectibles to do this? <laughs> yeah. All right, fine. Yeah. You know, it's more that than anything else. You know, most of those investments right. other than when I can help, but that's usually a text and it's not like a text takes. If it works so out. So put it down to the most basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. And that, you know, comes with experience and like I, I trust. For just last thing on the trading cards, where do you see the, the future of that going into 2022 and beyond? I mean, we're doing so much. Future of tickets are as NFTs, not the other way around, not like tickets being. So it will be you need an NFT to get into Madison Square Garden to watch a Knicks game. I do mm -hmm. think it gets there because there's no reason for reason for him and Madison right. Square Garden or whomever it is not to be taking a cut of that. So I right. think that's inevitable. Trading card space, it's going to go more non-sport, I think. Um, you know, it's already going more vintage. Involved in this, yeah. yeah. What's the best card you own? Uh, you know, I have some high grade uh, Derek Jeter rookies, some some Giannis stuff, some really fun tickets. But my best items, period. I, I have George Washington acknowledging that he was in debt in his mid twenties. The only other examples in the Smithsonian. I have. Wait, what is it? It's a handwritten document, but it was a lot what? of money. That's yeah, like so 16. funny. And then I have um, keeping. I couldn't keep that stuff in my house. Okay, where is it? In a vault. Yeah. But it, it has to be like a certain brightness and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. Because it's so old. Yeah, that's just. Right. Yeah. So like things like that, that applies to the historical so documents too. So interesting. Yeah. It's crazy. If I hold the Lincoln document that I have up to the light, the seal, you can still see the red in it from the, oh, cool. the seal stamp. Yeah, yeah. But you don't do that often that's because so. you don't. <laughs> But what's crazy about that one is so messages are the head of the internet today. It's like they're the one who makes sure that the messages get to anyone, to anyone. from every yeah. important person in the world. Yeah, every, you know, there was no Venmo, you know, that's yeah. how money was take, gotten from place, got from place to place. So are yeah, you going to sell them? The goal is to never sell anything and open a museum one day. Really? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's one of my goals. Yeah. That's I want so I want cool. people to have access to it. And yeah. Um, yeah, it would be great. That's be so great cool. One day. But I also make content with this stuff too. And like that's, you know, become a big part of my my brand. So yeah, I love that. Well, I love that on your podcast to it. The best thing is always <laughs> to talk to the people about what they're passionate about because that's how you get the best out of them. So that's why we talked about cats and Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Sounds like we've 